with you. We're continuing our Insight to End Time studies. These short little podcasts are to bring to your attention uh, the end, end time events that are occurring around us and how they tie into end time scriptures. We are in the last days, according to the Apostle Paul. We are in perilous times, of course. We have been uh, sharing insights with you now for 23 weeks. We're going to spend these last three days of this week looking at current events and whether or not they are prophetic, because I believe you're going to see more and more things happening that have prophetic overtones. So let's get started uh, with this one today. We're going to go a little longer than uh, our normal time, but uh, the information is very important. Uh, we are looking at uh, world events occurring at a pace that's so fast, it's faster and faster all the time. And it's, uh, it's got the entire world watching. We're all listening and watching and hearing what's going on because of our, our communication abilities today with smartphones and so on. Uh, it's almost instantaneous. But here's one of the major problems. What we see and what we hear over the news and over the internet and so on, how can we tell whether it's right or wrong? How can we tell whether it's even truthful? Well, most people today have this attitude. I said it, therefore it's the truth. It's the truth because I say so. Well, that may not be the case. And I want to take you into scriptures and I want to take you into world events that may cast a different view on some things. But um, let's get started. I want to talk about uh, an article I read in the Saturday, August 20th national newspaper that I received. It was entitled, it was an editorial, and it was entitled Global Madness. It was talking about the possibility of nuclear destruction occurring all around the world. Now, uh, we have a war going on between Russia and Ukraine right now. In this last past week, uh, that um, was referred to in the papers. It's talking about um, a nuclear plant that is at the center of the conflict. And they were saying if it is uh, hit with war, war, you know, missiles uh, or, or uh, bombs, if, it, if it's hit, we're going to have a mass destruction. We're going to have horrible mess. Well, let's talk about the nuclear system that exists in the world. There are eight countries in the world today that are part of the nuclear community. And uh, for the most part, they have their wits about them, I could say. These eight countries are the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, that's three, uh, France, China, uh, India, Pakistan, and of course, the nation of Israel. And for the most part, uh, outside of the Russia uh, situation, uh, we can rest assured that things are uh, not going to get out of hand. We hope, we trust, amen. But we've got two new countries that are about to be nuclear ready or nuclear capable. They are North Korea and Iran. And neither one of these countries is the most stable, politically speaking, vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world. They are ruled by aggressive dictatorships. They have different standards. They have different objectives. Uh, they are more volatile. They are on the verge of being nuclear ready. And when they are, who knows what they're going to do? Now, we know Iran has long stated over many, many years that their role in life is to eliminate Israel. So, uh, who knows? Well, but these are prophetic events that are occurring. This, this arming, getting ready for the end with nuclear weapons. Prophetic? Yes. In my estimation, yes. And I'll give you some scriptures to, to uh, verify that or to complement what I'm saying to you. The um, first scripture I want to refer to, we've already studied it at length. It's in the book of Revelation, chapter 6. It refers to the second seal, S-E-A-L, judgment. It refers to a red horse. There are four horses referred to. It's the second horse. It's a red horse. It represents war. And in, in, in fact, it's referring to the World War III conflict that will occur in Israel 
and against Israel by the nations of Russia and Libya and Iran and uh, Turkey and so on. Referred to in Ezekiel chapter 38. These are, uh, I believe there's eight or nine countries depending on uh, how we define them. Uh, let's say there's eight countries in alliance with Russia to come against Israel in World War III. In Ezekiel 38, it says God wipes out this alliance in one day. Kills everybody off. They're, they're eliminated. It takes seven months to bury the dead. And then in Ezekiel 39, it says that God comes against the nation of Russia, Magog. And Gog, it comes against them to eliminate them as well. We are talking about massive destruction. It probably is of a nuclear nature. It refers to fire and hail and brimstone. It refers to mountains collapsing. We're probably talking about nuclear warfare. Prophetic? Absolutely. Are we on the verge of it? Probably. We're getting very, very close. We just had Russia meeting with the leader, Putin, meeting with the leader of Iran and Turkey, the three major countries that come together against Israel. Prophetic? Yes. Got more for you in this very area tomorrow. I'll see you then. Please don't miss it. You want to know this information. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen. Bye.